see here. I'm bringing a little review to you. Remember, when you're carrying something, make sure it's got multiple uses, just not one. All right, that was a fun introduction, huh? Don't get to be creative, I'm a very creative person. But anyways, we're gonna dive into some uh, lighters here. We're gonna run through uh, some Zippo, some big, small, and large. Um, a case, I think you pronounce it, uh, thigh rim, thigh rim, which you put a Zippo lighter inside of it. Uh, a top Topkin, just some inexpensive USB charging lighter, which I don't get too thrilled with those. Uh, Exotax sleeve, which a big lighter goes in it. Uh, a Yuko Stormproof, uh, the torch, and uh, and some Yuko match kit. Uh, everybody should carry a couple uh, fire starters on them, uh, whether in a bag, whether in a vehicle. Uh, it's always good to have a couple resources. Obviously, uh, ferro rod. I run a ferro rod a lot. It's actually what I mainly start uh, my fires with, um, but there's been times where I've been out and about in the cold, in the winter, snow, and it's not, nice just to hit a lighter and um, see, it doesn't work. That one works. I never edit any of this stuff either, if you guys haven't figured that out. I uh, figure if I'm gonna have some bloopers, you're gonna see them also. Um, but there's a prime example, right? There's a lighter that, that doesn't work. Don't know why. Um, but it's still useful, okay? Anyways, we're gonna go through this and uh, let's get going, let's hop in here. All right, so hopefully everybody can see this. I'm trying to come up with a better view, but it just seems like this gets on top of it and everybody can see what's going on but I'll show some pictures that way you guys could read all these but all I've done is write on note cards uh, what the pricing is for each respective lighter and the name of it uh, feel free to shoot me a message in comments or wherever else and we could go over it if, if it's not very clear but I'll actually have pictures that show show everything so um, again to uh, follow up to preface of this video is uh, make sure you're carrying multiple uh, fire starters whether it's a ferro rod whether it's matches whether it's a lighter um, whether it's a, a self igniter whatever it is you, you need to carry multiple resources uh, the reason why I thought I share this is because of what I've learned not just from others uh, but what I've learned just out and about being in temperatures from really cold into zero which that's we might get a couple degrees colder, but where we're at, we don't get that cold, but we can get down to zero at the homestead. Um, but also, uh, whether lighter gets wet, whether exposed to moisture, uh, all the way into the extreme heat and what that looks like, uh, a lighter inside of a car when a car is 150, 160 degrees inside. So anyway, so let's, let's, let's hop right, right in. I'm, I'm a partial smoker, so, um, you know, I have... Uh, this is Zippo lighter. It's a it's it's a pipe version, so you could light light your pipe. You know, one thing about uh, Zippos is they're not uh, reliable. Okay, uh, there's a lot of tricks where um, so the lighter fluid, okay, does not escape. Uh, you can put Vaseline around here, tuck this uh, back in here. You need to make sure your wick stays good. You need to make sure your striker is good with with, with your flint um, when they work they work really good when they don't work um, for example this one which I've carried a lot that wheel is stuck okay and I don't know why it just got stuck so now I need to work on it that's the problem with Zippos is is as basic as they are um, and they work, they're still finicky. And so there's a lot of tricks 
they could break r r real easy okay these are about $13 at w Wally World so um, as much as I enjoy the Zippo we're gonna come back down to the Zippo in conjunction w with the case uh, but we're gonna talk about uh, the cost and stuff like that this this little guy here I've got some duct tape around, wrapped around these are the m mini versions of Bix um, I carry this every day in my pocket uh, and I'll show you the other one I carry too but uh, they're small don't take a full out of room wrapped a little bit duct tape around there you kind of see um, it has worn in my pocket um, but great great little lighters the problem with Bix I've learned is when it gets really 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 cold and unless you keep them warm they quit working or if they get wet and you don't properly dry them out then the wheel everything all the mechanism starts getting stuck so uh, even if you run out of fluid in here these are still useful from a as we just learned from this one still striking okay so you can still use them so don't ever throw them away uh, because a striking wheel could be a you know to be able to start something on on fire okay so Bix they're cheap they're inexpensive buy them in multi-packs get them at Wally World or whatever uh, the minis I kind of don't see them as often so when I do see them I, I grab them and then I throw them everywhere throw them all the bags everything so all the bags got you know three four or five lighters each okay uh, this one here uh, this works in conjunction with the Zippo it's THYRM Thyrem is probably how you pronounce it um, neat concept okay it's a plastic case it's got a clip here which I don't I, I, I don't know what that's for that's worthless you're you're not gonna clip one of the most important items in your gear somewhere unless you're clipping it inside I guess I, I don't know but I don't understand the clip um, open this up what you have is you have a Zippo a Zippo insert you see that okay Zippo insert inside of here and what this does is this prevents the lighter fluid from evaporating like it does normally in a regular Zippo lighter which I talked about putting the Vaseline and stuff on, on the inside um, this little latch this little latch right here kind of gets in in the way Okay, but it works. Does it prevent the lighter fluid from evaporating? Yes, they do last longer in here. Here's the problem. In my pocket, let's just do this right, right, right now. And the only reason why this is gonna come out is because it's sitting here on the table. That is typically what's in my left hand pocket, along with automotive keys that go on top of this mess. Little pocket knife, chapstick, keys to the house, small Bic lighter, Zippo lighter in this fancy, in this fancy case, okay? So what I have found, and when it becomes uncomfortable, is it'll be open in my pocket. So if that wick or anything is up against any material in my pocket, the pocket starts sucking the lighter fluid and I can feel it in my leg. So this is not a very good latch. If it gets hit, which it gets hit often, it opens up in your pocket. The evaporation process starts. So. How can you eliminate that? You could be like this little fancy guy here, this little cheap little guy, come over here, and that latches the case. Do I think that'll last? No, I think this is a pile of crap. Um, we'll get to that. But anyways, I like the concept, I bought a couple of them, here's the problem. At the end of the day, it's not budget friendly. So it is 
plus a 13 for the Zippo, which makes it a $43 item. I don't know about you, I ain't paying $43 when I could carry a set of matches or a 69 cent Bic in my pocket. I think it's neat. I think it's a good concept. I think they've done a good job. I think it needs some work still. I don't like it that this comes open in my pocket. Uh, so I don't feel it's worth the $30 plus a $13 put a Zippo insert in there. And, but it does slow the evaporation of the lighter fluid. So I'll leave you with that one. Dakota got me this one. So I go, oh, sure, I got this for you. It's five bucks. Okay, well, first off, uh, I'm an old school guy. I ain't charging no fire with a USB cord. You gotta be kidding me, okay? Now, does it work? Uh, yeah, can, can, can you see that? Here, let's grab, uh, let's grab this here. Let's not catch the Band-Aid on fire because I jammed my thumb. You all see that? So it does light it. Now here's my problem is, are those little jets gonna get dirty and clogged up? Or better yet, am I gonna forget to go, huh? You guys see that? I forgot to charge it before I left. You gotta be kidding me. You gotta charge something to start fire? I don't think so. Okay, so to me, worthless. I, it's, a gim, it's a gimmick, but it's got a latch. So a $5 whatever USB thing versus this guy whose lid comes open, right? Anyways, five bucks, no on my list. I would. Do not have this in any of my gear. It sits here in the garage and I complain about it. Exotac, you know, um, this is a Bic lighter sleeve. They make great products. If you got a wallet, you better have a wallet if you wanna buy them. This is an expense, this is 15, $15 $16. Um, keeps this waterproof. It does. Keeps it waterproof. They have good products. Their products are really expensive. It's really that simple. Okay? Um, I don't know what else to say. Uh, it's a good product, but it's expensive. You're going to pay for it. This here, I think, is affordable and working in conjunction. You know, you got $15.99. 69 cents so you know that's uh that's inexpensive i think i put a little lanyard in here this is a usd pair tender that that we carry okay i just put that around there so i can click it to something strap it to something or whatever i like this uh, but this is only 15 16 dollars too so You want something reliable? Let's go buy our Yuko matches. This is reliable as they come. This is a tough little fella, okay? By themselves, they're $3, $2.99. This kit here is $6.99 at Cross Bless. Got some matches. Got some fire tinner that's got a striker match on the end. And I also have some additional striking pads in here, two of them, $6.99, okay? This goes in the water, it floats, and it's waterproof, okay? Nothing fancy. I put this on here, again, USD paratender, you use to light, wrap this in some good quality electrical tape by Scotch 33 3M, okay? It's got a striker. 
You could use these for pills. You could use these for anything. You could put a sewing kit in here. Again, we sell these just by themselves. You could buy the fire kit or whatever. You should always, always have matches. Waterproof matches in your kits. This is not big. It's lightweight. And it's cheap. Okay? But it is more reliable than any of these lighters I just showed you. I could promise you that. Okay? And we all know that. Minimum, something that's more reliable is a ferro rod, as long as you have a something to run it with, a knife, a sharp edge, or something like that. Those those are just as reliable as, as this, but this will actually make fire and get you going. Last but not least is our Stormproof Torch by Yuko. We carry these on the store at crossbless.com. These are actually pretty cool. I'll tell you why they're cool. One, they're an actual torch. The downside is it takes butane fuel. The upside is you can fill, it's, it's pretty big. You can fill it a lot. And you're really not needing that much three jets in there you're not really needing that much to start a fire you're you're gonna go like this and it's gonna be ignited the other thing that's cool is when you're done building your fire and working your butt off you could crack yourself open a beer because we're always carrying beer with us right in our bug out bags you know we get rid of the MREs and we carry beer so you got a little bottle open in there but in all seriousness what I've done is there's some space in there I try not to spill them I don't know if you could see them, but there's matches in there. And I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There's eight matches in there. And I slid those in the way the design is inside. It's allowed me to slide them in there. Okay, you could do the same thing. I'll give you the matches if you buy this off of crossplus.com. I'll throw them in. But that's kind of neat. You just throw some matches in there. So this inserts fills back here. It's got a flame adjustment back there. You can see the amount of fuel in there. Can you see that? There's quite a bit of fuel in there. And that just slides right in there. This is almost like the ExoTac, the sleeve, okay? And it's got a little carabiner. It's cheap, but it's better than nothing. And when you're done building your shelter and you're done building fire and you've found a little bit of water, uh, you can crack open a beer and have a smoke like I was. Okay? All in an SHTF scenario. Now, the problem with this is a little bulky. It's a little big. There it is in my hand. It's, it's a little big. All right? But... Um, Those flames are coming out about a half inch, three quarters of an inch, maybe more. Um, reliable, sturdy, $12.99. Catch on one of my sales, probably pick it up for 10, 11 bucks. Pay attention, might be a giveaway. So that is the Yuko Stormproof torch, butane, $12.99. So that is our lighters that we use, we've carried or carry, and I hope this has helped. Uh, I know I've learned a lot just from season to season, to season carrying in my pocket day in and day out, leaving it in a bag, watching Zippo lighters evaporate. Watch Bic lighters not work in the extreme, extreme cold. Uh, I've kind of seen a lot. I haven't seen everything, but uh, I know what's reliable. And I think that's the important thing is to uh, understand what's going to be most reliable and what your resources are, right? Uh, these Bic lighters, uh, dual purpose, okay? Not only do they flame, right? 
they can also spark even when they don't have any more fluid in there. So you're trying to figure out multiple purposes um, for everything. Anyways, um, that's a lighter review. Have any questions? You shoot me, uh, shoot me something, or if you learn something with other lighters, uh, let me know, would you please? Because I appreciate the feedback. And if something you don't agree with or whatever on on what I've done, shoot that in the comments. I like that too. Uh, you you, you got to learn from one another, right? You guys may know something about these things that I don't know. Maybe there's some tricks to keeping these Zippos running. I've been running Zippos for 30 years, and I hear all these cats with these suggestions, and they work, but they're they're still, I think, vulnerable, and I think they could get you into trouble if that's if you're just trying to depend on those uh, on those Zippos. All right. Hope everybody enjoyed uh, that review of these of these lighters here. Um, obviously, there's a lot more fire starters out there. I was just trying to concentrate on lighters. Uh, I could look at ferro rods. Just you know, all ferro rods aren't created equal. All strikers aren't created equal for ferro rod. Uh, just so you know that too. I don't know if I anybody knew that. There are top quality ferro rods out there. Um, there are crappy ferro rods out there. Just so you know. So. Um, I could do this uh, all day long with, with, with the fire. Uh, one thing I try to challenge myself with, especially going up to the homestead, more during winter time than anything. And, and if it's raining, obviously I hop out there and I've done some some uh, videos on it too, uh, starting fire and stream snow. And I've had to reach out to some people and going, I'm having a hard time, you know, uh, not so much just snow and just uh, wood laying in the snow, you know, figure out what you're looking for. And thought I was doing all the right things and couldn't get a fire started and finally had to resort to some small pieces of fat wood I, I carried and uh, had to get the fire started that way so I essentially cheated but the fat wood which is I always carry in little small pieces kind of like kind of like this piece right here that's a piece of fat wood and I have a ton of this I get all my fat wood from Georgia from a family in, in, in Georgia very nice couple uh, anyways uh, I always carry that with me uh, as a last resort so uh, you know uh, Someone going, I, I, I could build a fire. Well, you might be able to build a fire, but if you haven't built a fire and tried yourself in situations like snow or wet snow or uh, when you're cold, uh, when you're tired, when you're hungry, uh, while it's rainy, okay, uh, you haven't started a fire. And I started doing that last couple of years and uh, become pretty proficient at starting a fire, but I still struggle. So uh, first thing I do is I start with the hardest thing when I'm out there and I start tearing it down, you know. Last thing I got is my, uh, you know, Yuko matches, uh, Titans or the Stormproof that, you know, burn like straight for like 15 seconds like an inferno, okay? You're drying the tinder out as it's lighting it. <laughs> uh, but, you know, sometimes you have to do that. Uh, anyways, um, appreciate everybody watching. Um, if you're still watching, Do an open package giveaway because I had to open this package to do the review because last time I did this I got rid of this one so I'd open another one. Good for you. Giveaway. See this? See this? I just wrote a number one between one and 100 on that card. Closest person to that number in the comment section. Please make sure you like and share and subscribe to our channel. I very, very much appreciate it. I don't do this for money or anything from YouTube. Don't care about that. I do this for a share to the community and try to get our, our products out there, which I feel are good quality products. But Wrote a number down between zero and 100. Put your number in, in the comments. I appreciate it. Whoever is closest, uh, I'll reach out to you and I'll send this to you, okay? Um, because everybody stuck around and listened and I very much appreciate that and I appreciate your uh, support. So, 
Enjoy your next outdoor adventure. Stay safe, please, and stay prepared. Thank you.